Welcome to Learn Outlook. In this video, we will build a mail project in Python and this is the Outlook Weather App. So what will our weather app do? This will just take information from Google and provide us with the weather of a particular location, right? We'll just provide the weather of any location that's available, uh, like any location. So we'll do this with the help of a uh, of uh, library and this is basically the scraping of data from Google that Google provides us uh, when we do the normal Google search, okay? So that's the thing we'll do in this program. So stay tuned and look how we build a mini project of a weather app, of weather whether at any time the app that gives us that weather. And at the end, I will tell you what are the ways you can improve this app, what are the things you can do to just uh, make it more useful, uh, make it a whole project, right? So without wasting your time, let's begin. So to, to start with, first of all, we would need a beautiful soap for us. So uh, if you're not aware of beautiful soap, just go ahead and search it for beautiful soap base and well, you can find out more about it, right? So we'll say uh, from BS4, so BS4 is actually the library that has a beautiful soap. The beautiful soap is a part of a BS4 library. We'll say from BS4 import beautiful soap. We got our soap, we import it, and now we need to we need what we need requests to send requests to our browser or to send requests to our um, servers or request to the websites to get the information, right? That's the thing we need. Then uh, so we'll say import request. We got our requests, all right. Now we will start creating the weather app. So let's say if uh, we'll say weather. So we're just creating a function. Uh, weather and we just pass the ct to it uh, let's uh, uh, if this is our exact structure of the weather app then uh, then we can do okay so this is what now i'll just describe the function a bit later now let's try to get our inputs and like pass data to the our function right so for that we need to get our city name as input so let's take the city name as input we'll do like um city we'll say city is input and in input we'll say enter um the uh, name of the city Enter the name of the city and then we will do like that and we got our city done now the next thing we need to do uh whenever we are searching we got a city name we are need to search for the its weather so if we are looking for the weather of a city then we should search for google like uh city weather like if the city is new york then we would say new york weather that then google will return us the weather or the correct weather of new york right so for that let's uh manipulate our input as city weather how do you do that say we'll say city uh, and we'll say plus equal and we'll do that as say we'll just add weather to it right we just added the weather to the city next thing we need to do is we need to call the weather app with city right so we'll say weather and in that we'll just pass city right so that's the thing we did here now let's define our weather app so in the weather app look here uh, we got our uh, weather like we got a city name and weather but uh, this is there's a space in the uh, Name. like if the name is new york then new and york there's a space in it and, and a space another between york and weather so what will you do we will just try to uh, manipulate that okay how i'll show you for that first thing we need to do is we will again say city and we'll say this we'll just uh, sorry so we'll just try to manipulate that here by city dot replace and we'll replace that extra space with uh plus sign you know uh, why we are using the plus sign uh, i'll just tell you in a moment i'll just tell you in a moment like why uh, there's a need to use a plus sign right so here we got our city next thing we need to request our url to give the results right for that we'll say res is uh, request request and we'll say request or get with uh, get away so in that first thing we need to do we need to pass our url right we'll just get our url but uh, for the url let's move back to our browser all right so here in this uh, browser we just searched for the new york weather and look here uh this when you search for new york weather this returned us the weather at new york right so this is the exactly what it returned us all right we got our results now we need to use this okay look in the url here if we just look in the url this is google.com slash stars slash q and in that see new plus york plus weather so what this plus is this is basically the space between the new space york space weather right and they again say uh, and oq equals new plus york plus weather and the rest is let's remain same so let's copy this and let's copy this and move back to our editor all right so here in the editor we just paste this okay we got our uh, exact weather now uh but this is this became exactly for new york we need to modify it with regards to our city right so if we need to modify it with regards to our city let's do that like this was the thing we don't want so this is the thing and we'll say city again here is a similar thing and we'll say city so this is the thing that we need to change within our web, uh, website well, like exactly world so after that we need to say uh header so we got our headers here and in this request url our header is done okay so we got our headers next thing we need the to prepare our soup to get our data we need the data right from the url we got it well now let's get our required data from the url so for that let's build our soup so we'll say soup and we'll call beautiful soup we'll call beautiful soup and we'll just pass this uh this race we'll just pass this race and we'll say race.text 
And after that, after we just got a rest of text, we'll uh, make it as an HTML parser. Or we made it as HTML parser. Now, now we need to select our, uh, let's see what else information we can get from uh, our weather, like from that uh, Google, like from this Excel website, right? So for that, the first thing we need is our weather. So we'll say weather, and in that we'll just, uh, we'll just create another uh, variable for weather. And we'll just uh, ask our soup here, so soup, what will soup do? Soup dot select, and we'll just select the exact ID of the data where our data is. So soup should select, and then we would require uh, its text, right? So we'll say get text, and sorry, get text, and this will return as a, a get stress, and we'll just strip the data. And I think we'll, we'll be done with it. So let's get and uh, find our exact ID for the weather, right? Uh, move back to the browser. Let's see, we need this data, right? 3 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. This data is what we require. So uh, let's inspect element, and you'll find out what you need. So let's inspect the elements and what do we need here? Look, this, this is three. And what is the class WOBTM, right? So move back to the editor. So what do we select? We'll select uh, the ID WOB hyphen TM. So WOB hyphen TM and this will return as an array. And in that array, we'll need to take the zeroth element. So if the zeroth element is this, uh, the exact zeroth element, right? Okay, we got our yeah. weather. Wait, if we're building this, then I think we can print this here uh, about the weather. Though in this video, I'll try to improve a lot in this. I'll try to now make much more edits further. So first look here and try to print this weather. So for that, we'll say weather, I'll just say weather plus degree Celsius. Okay, so that's the thing we would need here and, and it's done, right? Uh, let's try to run our app and see whether it runs good or not. After that, we'll try to make some changes to it. Mm, just a second, yeah, I think it took. So if I give a location like Kolkata, then then what it returns, it gives me 17 degrees Celsius. Yeah, okay, this is fine. And that means our app is running well and good. Okay, now let's uh, try to improve it. Uh, move back to the browser and try to find out what can be improved in it. And now, window, we, we, what we need to do, we need to put the exact location. Uh, it looks good, right? What else it has given us? The time, exact what time the weather are we looking for? And this is important, the exact information about uh, the, along with the uh, temperature. So weather is basically temperature and the uh, exact, nature like the current weather is cloudy or the, the, that kind of things required then we can print these things too precipitation humidity what else is there okay so that's the whole thing we need to or we can add so let's add it all of them one by one okay so first uh if we just look here uh just click x yeah we got the new york is uh like the there it's an idwb loc okay let's go back to the editor uh, one one. let's okay all the way there okay uh the first print the location so it's in the loc is uh location is with again do same thing so dot select and within that we'll just print this wb loc and this was a location id which we just now did and if we just print like the with the array and for after that we'll say get text of that element and i will just strip the text right so we got a location let's say we can get the time so the time was written there so for that again this was the same so dot select and we'll just get this value for we'll the right element dot get text dot strip Oops. okay then we got time location and oh wait if i think this should be weather and this should be our uh, temperature okay the weather is again the similar thing. So we'll select that. We'll just get this exact ID and we'll just say the element and then we'll just say get text and we'll just say strip. Okay. So we need to get the ID of time and weather. So let's go back to editor and get those two. The time. So here, wait, this, this, this is the time. And this is the time. And this is WOBDTS. Moving back. I'm as hash WOB underscore DTS. And we need to find this weather thing. This weather thing is the next line. So this is WOBDC. Moving back. This is again WOB underscore DC. Okay. So this is the data we got. Oh, wait, we have more data. The precipitation we Okay, let's uh, inspect the sales. And there you go. But then here the precipitation is this thing. Okay. Let's look carefully. Okay, so this is. Okay, look. So we have precipitation is WBP. So we can make that. Let's do, let's do this. So we need press invitation is nothing but soup or select. Uh, let's why not just copy this one, sir. Uh, And that we need to need precipitation, humidity, and this is the single thing. After that, we need wind, and we need to make the same thing. Now, let's let us print all of this. Okay. So, the precipitation is WOB, 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 HM, and WOB, WS. Yes. Now, S, WOB, and this OBD. This OBD, this yes, HM, and this OBD. Now, this should work on now. Let's print all of this. So, let's print all of this. Print. So, we'll say NOC, and we'll say print. So then, we need to print the time. And print, we need to print weather, then print, and we need to print average print there, precipitation, then we'll print, mm, we'll print humidity, and we'll print, we'll print weight. Okay. Wait, it's just look carefully. Yeah, in the uh, precipitation, just print, 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 
So now we just need our task that whatever we just planned for. Let's 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 play. Make run this once and see how this goes. So it says enter the name of the city. For that we'll just say mm, say again we'll say Kolkata. Now let us do a task. Okay, so it says location Kolkata. It says time is Monday 12 a.m. At this 12 a.m. I'm just recording this, right? So next thing is uh, next thing is it says the weather clear with periodic clouds. It's the temperature is 70 degrees. Yes, we can uh, print this temperature before it. Yeah, we'll do that in a moment. And the precipitation, humidity, wind speed, everything is counted. We got everything written, right? Yes, yes. So finally, finally we uh, did it, right? So, so finally, this is done. This particular weather app is done. Now we can easily take a, like get our weather. Now, as I've said, I'll just talk about how to improve this weather app. So to improve this weather app, you can just uh, do maybe a uh, make a GUI of it, right? Uh, you know, you'll stick with it, make a GUI and try to uh, develop the graphical user, uh, graphical interface for uh, this app, okay? Uh, try to get it in a different manner. Uh, let's not take the input directly from the user in the terminal, let's uh, find out different uh, stuff to just take this input, right? So I hope I can make you understand how you can develop this weather app, right? So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope to see you soon in my next video. And make sure you just like the video, comment on your thoughts, and share it with your friends so that uh, you can, so that everyone can learn from it, right? Thank you everyone.